The legend of King Arthur is one of the most enduring myths of the Western world. With tales of adventure, magic and romance, it's captivated the hearts of generations. He's told us so that I It's inspired countless retellings, defined national identities and become the ideal of leaders around the globe. But the fact is, to this day, nobody really knows where the history ends and the poetry begins. I'm Colin Morgan, and that's Bradley James, though you may know us better as Merlin and Arthur. For eight months of the year, we film our drama series in a studio in Cardiff. But when we finished this year, we decided to embark on a 300-mile road trip across parts of the country we've never seen, so that we could explore the Welsh connection to the myth. Along the way, we met some interesting people, saw some interesting sights, and we did some odd things in the dark. Yes, well, and we did it all to get closer to the real Merlin and Arthur. Well, the one thing about filming in, in a studio in Cardiff for, for eight months is that you you also don't get to see much of the countryside and you kind of don't get the chance to appreciate how impressive it is. You get, get the opportunity to kind of come up here, up, up in North Wales, where we've never been before, and see this, it's absolutely stunning. Well, if this is the area where Arthur grew up, it's not exactly a, a bad place to grow up, is it? It's quite, it's quite nice. I wouldn't complain. We're here at Clenochlan Railway, waiting to take the, the train around Bala Lake. We thought we'd take the train uh, to mix it up a bit, because we did such a vast amount of driving yesterday. Uh, so we, th we, we thought we'd mix up our Arthurian Legends tour with a, bit of, with a bit of train action. This might shake our world up a bit. Shake our world <laughs> up a bit, yes. Yes, it might. Sadly, although it would have been wonderfully poetic, Bala Lake has no connections to the Lady in the Lake mentioned in Arthurian romance. But it is quite an apt place for us to collect our thoughts. Well, it was great getting to speak to Scott, wasn't it? Because especially since he mapped out these areas where we can where we can go and visit now, so it's very we've got a clear journey. There are a lot of regions that have their versions of the story. They all sort of have originated from somewhere, and it's just that the stories have been told in different ways. And of course, we're sort of touring the Welsh countryside, so he so he gave us some great great uh, places to kind of check out where the myths have been created. The more you become immersed in the Arthurian setting, the more these stories seem to come alive. This really is where the legend meets fact, where the drama meets reality. It would be nice to believe that at some point there was a man who the legend is, even if it's sort of remotely based on it, that it was, you know, that started it all off. 